As one of the UK's leading independent feed manufacturers, Harbro is the first choice for high-quality feed and livestock products. Harbro produce innovative, performance-driven livestock feeds focused on improving animal performance and customer profitability. One of the main challenges facing farmers today in modern farming practices is to feed animals to help them achieve optimal performance whilst maintaining a healthy rumen. Subacute rumen acidosis, or SARA, occurs when the pH of the rumen falls below 5.8, causing the rumen function to slow down and the acid level in the rumen to rise. Microbial activity and fibre digestion are compromised, which can lead to reduced feed efficiency, impaired performance and health issues which cost the farmer time and money. Along with leading research bodies, Harbro is at the forefront of an exciting project looking at the microbiology and pathology of acidosis. Interim findings have turned conventional thinking on its head, making researchers re-examine the mechanisms and effects of acidosis. Harbro identified a need for a product that would take grain either harvested, dried, stored or purchased externally and enhance it to get more from it as a feeding system on farm. The concept of Maximum was established as a feed system that allows high levels of grain to be fed safely and creating a diet that stimulates good rumen function whilst maintaining a sufficient rumen pH. Maximum, when combined with urea and grain, results in a nutritionally enhanced high pH, high protein feed for improved animal performance. Preparation is key to the success of the Maximum system. The storage clamp should be thoroughly cleaned steam washing the floor and walls. An insecticide should be sprayed on all store surfaces in advance of storing. All walls should be sheeted with new polythene. And if the floor doesn't contain a damp proof membrane, the floor should also be sheeted. Maximum processed grain can be stored outdoors. However, allowing moisture in during storage will lead to spoilage. Making sure your storage system is robust enough to keep the water out is essential. Processing grain with Maximum is quick and easy. The Maximum system can be carried out on lightly processed or whole grain which is mature and ripe, free from greens, not sprouted and has a moisture level of 16 to 20 percent. Grain moisture between 10 and 15 percent requires the addition of 6 to 3 percent water respectively. Maximum can be applied in either farm mixer wagons or in a mobile mixer unit. 5 kg maximum and 15 kg of feed grade urea is the application rate per tonne of grain to be processed. The grain should be pushed into the storage area creating a level finished surface. It shouldn't be compacted and driving on it should be avoided while pushing it into the clamp. A practical guide to height of storage for processed maximum grain is 16% moisture, 3 meters, 20% moisture, 2 meters. If processing whole crop with maximum, the same application rate should be used. Lightly premix the maximum and urea before applying it to the whole crop, ensuring the premix is then adequately dispersed through the whole crop batch before pushing it into the clamp. To complete the process, the grain should be covered with a new polythene sheet. Apply weights around the edges for the first 7 to 14 days. This period allows the grain to stabilise. Removal of the top cover after the initial 7 to 14 days is recommended as it prevents sweating on the surface of the grain. However, if the clamp is situated outdoors, the sheet should remain on top to prevent spoilage. Once the grain is stabilised, it's ready to feed. If the grain is clamped whole, it must be lightly processed before feeding. During this 7 to 14 day period, the maximum process creates ammonia gas and ammonium bicarbonate. The ammonia increases the protein content of the grain by up to 30%, while the ammonium bicarbonate lifts the pH of the grain to around 8.5 to 9.5. The process also breaks down the lignin in the seed coat to increase its digestibility. 
The combination of starch and rumen protein provided by maximum grain is a perfect mix to maximize microbial bug growth, to improve rumen function and performance. Maximum increases grain protein levels by around 30% on a dry matter basis. Optimize maximum grain performance by correctly balancing the diet with correct mineral and concentrate supplementation. The result is a grain higher in pH, more digestible and higher in protein. Three key attributes to improve animal performance, health and to reduce feed costs. Whole grain should be lightly processed prior to feeding. With the lignin fibre breakdown and the improved digestibility, the animals are not only able to extract more energy from each kilo of feed, but because the grain is also more quickly digested, they are able to consume more feed per day, maximising daily live weight gain or milk yield and significantly reducing the cost of production. Higher pH this is the real power behind maximum. To optimize rumen function, the pH of the rumen needs to be maintained between 6 and 6.5. pH levels in maximum cereals range around pH 8.5 to 9.5, compared to standard cereals which can range from 5.5 to 6.5. The ability of maximum treated grain to buffer itself means that we're able to feed a much higher level of grain than we would ever have thought possible. This is supported by the use of rumen pH boluses and abattoir rumen studies, which have consistently illustrated a significant increase in rumen pH and improved rumen condition when replacing traditional grain with maximum grain. Harbro conducted a farm trial over a 57-day period using rumen boluses to measure the impact on the level of pH in the rumen when cattle were fed standard compound versus a compound containing maximum enhanced grain. The greatest evidence of rumen health is the manure texture and the significant reduction in the visible amount of undigested grains and fibre. Looking at manure samples, the first sample contains a large amount of undigested grains. There are issues with fibrin casts, the gut lining being passed out in the dung, which doesn't have a good consistency. The second sample is a good example of the correct dung texture and consistency with a better colour and minimal grain being passed out. The third sample shows good dung consistency with cows at grass with no evidence of grain passing through. Classic symptoms of acidosis are evident by poor cud chewing rate, evidence of cud balls, tail swishing, loose pail and or bubble manure. Another major symptom of acidosis is a high incidence of lameness. Maximum has been established as a game changer in the ruminant sector, revolutionizing how we ration animals and pushing the boundaries of traditional thinking. Maximum, the future of ruminant nutrition.